and welcome back to another video man this video here I'm gonna be doing some carbon fiber door panels we're gonna do a, a little vlogging type of video this time uh, let me know if you guys like it try to get used to vlogging I'm gonna show you a process of creating a carbon fiber door panel stay tuned like comment subscribe hit that notification bell let's get it this is the door panel from the Jeep it's a little dusty I'm gonna get on it the products I'm gonna use some black pigment for the undercoat you know I got the brushes the one inch brushes this uh this is some epoxy from Rockstar I'm not sponsored, but hey, here's what it is. I'll show you the products like I always been doing. Show the products that I use. Rockstar Crystal Clear. Uh, never used it before, but we'll see how it gets. Yep. So this is the carbon in here. I went with the honeycomb pattern, as you see with uh, with the Jeep. I've been doing the honeycomb. It has two sides to the weave. Now I got the, the, the red side and it has the side with the carbon exposed. I'm just gonna go with the red and the theme that I'm trying to go with. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scuff up the door panel where I'm gonna lay the carbon and uh, get it real nice and cut up. So I could go ahead and the, have a good adhesion to the plastic. Um, I plan on cutting off this this piece right across across here for the door. That would be the um, the pod for the tweeters, and I just give the um, the door panel a nice straight line across. Let me just go ahead and start the video. I got this pieces cut out. I took out the top piece for the tweeter. As you can see here, cut that off. And I cut out the hole where the sub is gonna be. This is gonna be a eight inch sub, and it's gonna be a six and a half or six inch mid with a tweeter pod in the corner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay this right on top, uh, glue it in with some uh, crazy glue. And then when I do the epoxy, the epoxy will bond the two two layers together. That should hold these pieces nice together. I'm gonna just make sure I trim up everything. Everything flows good with the door. And that will be the cap for this part. Now that I got that done, already epoxied in this top piece after epoxy done set and dry I'm gonna cut out the, um, the outline of the door I mean of this um, panel then I'll go ahead and start roughing out the outside and getting it ready for epoxy everything super scuffed up and smooth use uh, the grinder to, to cut the deep grooves into the into the plastic and come back with a, uh, the 80 grit sandpaper on the DA 
uh, smooth back down the, the grinding marks. First, I want to check the fitment on, in the car and make sure that this addition that I added is going to clear. It's mocked it up as you can see right here. The fitment is very, very not. Like I said, once again, it's raining. It's raining. Rain has stopped me once again. So I brought, uh, I was working on a tree over there. So now I brought the stuff underneath the carport. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. Uh, next step I'm doing is uh, laying down the epoxy. to leave it for two hours let it dry and we'll see how long it's gonna take for it to dry up so. all right last night I ran out of time during the day I was able to catch the two hour time mark so I could go ahead and lay down the cloth uh, next step is just to trim it up After trimming up, has some imperfections in the dang cloth. Uh, yeah, I had these areas in here that wasn't laying good, so I wind up just chopping it out. What I'm gonna do is find somewhere, to, some way to adhere it down. Pretty, pretty much, it looks in, looking good. I said I got another edge what I'm gonna do is just feather out the ends a little bit as much as possible I'm just gonna lay another piece of carbon over it and um, try to blend it in as good as possible there's flaws to everything flaws to everything should be alright though should be alright just gonna keep on going with the build and try to fix it up make it look as good as possible go ahead and start to sand down these edge and feather them out to the other um, carbon it should look decent 
All right. Uh, so far, what I got. Anyways. So far, what I got. Looking good. I just gotta go ahead and um, sand it down. Uh, all the little edges that I was working on yesterday came out. Well, it came out all right. Mm, Could have been better. Come out all right. Uh, blend these edges, these edges in. Uh, sand them down a little bit. All right, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it down with a um, 220. Get it nice and uh, flat as possible. Up here, it's still a little rough. Get it flat, and um, yeah, we'll catch it back on when I when I'm finished. All right, what I did, I just go ahead, went ahead and just roughed it up. I was gonna go ahead and sand down to smooth it out, but um, I realized it still had a lot of raised areas and I don't want to cut through to the um, carbon as yet. I want to get it as thick as possible. I'm going to run a, a layer of resin, let it cure for two hours, three hours, come back while it's tacky and run another layer of resin. It's a lot of resin. I'm almost done with my kit. My kit is almost finished just from messing around with this one door panel. So. If you're gonna be doing anything like this, just make sure you get enough resin. All right, I'll cut you back on. We're done. Whew. Go check out the Patreon page. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring that uh, post notification bell. Uh, we're gonna keep on moving forward with all the projects, so yeah, help me out, man. Help me out. We'll just keep on moving. Check you guys later. Peace.